Andy Buffer there showing his authority, trying to keep the crowd in control. Sorry, Sledge. Both fighters bringing a lot of support to, to the, this event. Very intense look there from uh, Radislaw. Let's see if he can stay calm, cool and in control. I think Fraser's got other ideas. Well, he rushed in there and gave away a double leg and straight away he's, in, uh, he's underneath side control. Fraser let his shots go straight away. It would have been better just... He's Fraser establishing a strong position here. He should control this position and then start to let shots go. Oh, and he's been reversed. Now in half guard, top position. Radislaw needed to make some distance here. He, need, he could do with cross facing him. He's trying to work to pin an arm. He needs to cross face him and make some distance so he can get some power into his strikes. He could be holding on to pass and he has. He's worked his leg past into side control. He looks to be stepping over the head. Maybe he's going to try and isolate an arm. He's got an arm trap now. Fraser needs to try and bridge. He's got one arm underneath. He could bridge and follow that arm under. He's using that arm underneath. Good, strong base from Radislaw on top here. Seems to be holding position quite well. Yeah, I think Rad I'd like to see Radislaw uh, looking for some knees here or um, take his attention away while he looks for a submission. Frazier holding a headlock quite tightly. He'll never get a submission from there, but it just stalls the position. Prevents Radislaw creating distance. He's free now, though. Radislaw looking for an arm now, he's isolated that arm. He's looking to turn around all, and uh, Frazier's giving his back. Oh, good recovery, and uh, Frazier gets a reversal. Top position now. Now he needs to clear his head and start to work some strikes, or look to pass the guard. Letting some shots go. Oh, he's dropped back for a leg lock. That was interesting. He needs to switch it to a heel hook. Radislaw looking to spin and, and come out. He's got top position. The there, he got his foot caught in the shorts there. The risk of dropping back for a leg lock is that you are going to give up position. Radislaw looks quite uh, strong in top position. He's maybe leaving a little bit too much space there. Yeah, he's a, little high, he's a little high on top, but seems to um, have good control of what he's doing. I think he's allowing uh, Frazier to move around underneath him, looking for arms, looking for opportunities for a submission. Frazier trapping the head with the legs, it's not really going to do much but stall things. North-south position, it's uh, uncomfortable for Frazier to be under there. Yeah. The referee standing and a, and back stand up now. There. That's, I think that's a good call from the referee. Definitely a good decision. Oh. An attempt at flying knee. I think. Oh, a nice simple outside uh, trip there. Weatherslaw in top position, side control again. And definitely staying nice and calm now. And pretty much back to the same position. We're in a north south position. Frazier's got his head trapped. That's not going to bother him for too long. Frazier needs to be uh, looking to bridge here in reverse and try and get top position or at least get back to his feet. Here he's, he's giving away his arms. It, if he stays in this position, it's only a matter of time before he's submitted. We're looking for a, uh, Kimura from top here. He's lost it. He's got escape from Frazier there. I think it helps that they'll be uh, both sweating by now, so uh, I think um, can slip out. With, with the step over there, Radislaw could finish with a reverse triangle. 
he's let the head go. It's nice to see him constantly moving for uh, trying to take different opportunities for submissions. He's attacked for a variety of submissions. He's um, looking to advance position. He's now advanced to mount. He needs to clear his head and uh, let some shots go. We'll look, come to the end of the round here. Oh, and finish with the round with uh, Radislaw in top position. How would you score that round, Andy? I'd score that for um, Radislaw. I think uh, he dominated uh, throughout. That he got the uh, the, be the better takedowns. That, but uh, Fraser did um, take that big double leg at the beginning. But from then on, I think it was all Radislaw. There was the submission uh, submission attempt, the leg lock submission attempt, but I, I don't even think that was close, to be honest. No, they dropped back, but it didn't, uh, again, it didn't I, do much good. Again, I would um, I would always advise, us to advise my fighters to keep top position rather than give up position for a submission. If there's ground and pound involved, you want to be on top. I'm sure Fraser will have got some uh, good advice from Lee Hasdall. Excellent. During the break there. Yeah, Lee has done, uh, knows his job. Fraser looks the more tired of the two. He looks to be blowing a little. I think um, having Radislaw on top of him in north-south for uh, such a long time will have been draining. That's a good take down there from uh, Radislaw against the cage. I think he might look to stack him against the cage and let some shots go here. We might see a little bit of uh, ground and pound. A couple of hammer fists going in there, trying to make space. Yeah, a little hammer fist. They're not going to do much damage, but they do distract your opponent. If he encircle those arms out and get him free, he needs to get his head up. To get power into your shots, you need distance from your opponent. Fraser's not going to do much damage punching from underneath. He'd it, be better trying to get stood oh. up. Frazier's not really using his hips here either. He needs to be turning out. He needs to be turning away from cages. That's a little bit better, but he needs to. He could do with uh, pushing his hand and foot off the cage, turning away from the cage and looking to stand up. Or looking to push um, Radislaw's head down to the ground and get his legs escaped and hips into the cage. But to do that, up. he'd have to have an open guard. He's uh, just sitting yeah. with a closed guard and trying to fight back. It's a very. A close guy's a very defensive position, it's hard to move from there. You you can't get submissions and you can't stand back up with a closed guard. Uh, Radislaw getting warnings for headbutting. He's standing it back up now, the referee. Headbutted to the chest a couple of times. I think it was more frustration than anything else. I don't think that was a deliberate foul. I think that was a... And it didn't really do that much damage, to be honest. I think it was a blessing for Frazier because he got the feet, fight back to the feet. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, no. Pulling mount. A, That's a, a failed body lock. He, uh, he dropped back looking to the throw and he's ended up in mount underneath with Frazier raining down punches and he's yeah, split him. Really made the most of uh, that, that mistake. Had, that was a big turnaround there. And that was a mistake from Radislaw. Dropped yeah. down and pulled mount. So the foul, the headbutts to the chest actually lost him the fight. They cost him the fight. He went from top position, got stood back up, landed some shots, and then uh, ended up mounted and ground and pound to a finish. 